My name is Chris Pruitt. Uh, I am the developer, sort of I'm, I'm director of developer ecosystem at Oculus, which is a fancy title to say that I'm a, I run the group that runs developer support for folks like yourselves, folks that are building for VR platforms and then shipping on our, uh, on our systems. I used to be an engineer. Uh, I don't write any code anymore, like in this blazer now. Um, but I'm going to talk today about Quest from a developer perspective. My, uh, we, we've talked about Oculus Quest in terms of like, oh, it's a standalone VR headset, and there's all this cool tech and cool. But we haven't really ever publicly talked about um, the device from a developer perspective. So the goal of this talk today is to give you sort of a sort of top to bottom overview of what Quest is, uh, the product, the hardware, uh, also the, sort of the internals, and a little bit of best practices that we've learned uh, mostly from the third party developers who've been developing on early Quest prototypes. So I'm going to cover a bunch of different areas. Uh, we'll talk about the hardware. We'll talk about the software. Um, like I said, best practice. I will leave some time for QA. We'll also cover a little bit of store and ecosystem stuff, because uh, I'm sure that's, that's something that, that folks are interested in. Uh, you can tell from my uh, art that I am an engineer, not an artist, so I apologize in advance. We uh, announced a device this morning called Rift S. I will talk about it a little bit. It is a new Rift headset for PC VR. Uh, it's pretty cool. But most of this talk is about Oculus Quest. Okay, so what's Oculus Quest? Oculus Quest is a standalone VR headset. Uh, what that means is it doesn't require a phone or a PC or any other sort of external dependency to use. It's an all-in-one device. You put it on your head, you have the controllers, and you, you go. Um, technically speaking, you know you have to have a phone to set it up the first time. After that, there's no compute or or uh, other external device required to use. No trackers. Uh, the way this works is there's sensors in the headset. There's like four sensors built into the, uh, the sides of the headset. And by looking out at the world around you, we can track how your head moves and how your hands move. Uh, that's called inside-out tracking. The technology we use to, to do this is called Insight. Um, and it, it works really well. It basically allows us to remove all of the, the cables that, you know, that we generally associate with uh, 60 degree free tracking. I give you a demo, which I shot in my house, um, extremely high production value. Uh, which is me walking around looking at my hands in a virtual environment. And this is the purpose of this video is just to give you a sense of the scale uh, that is capable as possible, you know, in some rando house uh, with no wires for some software. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so it comes with two controllers. We'll talk about the, the details of the controllers later, but they are Oculus Touch controllers. They're very similar to the controllers you ship with Rift. You'll notice that the rings are flipped. That's to prevent your hands from actually occluding the, the bits that we need to see in order to track them. Uh, and we can track up, up to a, a pretty large space. Uh, because there's no wires, because the tracking is based on these sensors that are looking out at the rest of the world, um, you know, the amount of space that we can track is, is kind of undefined. Like, it, it, there's no obvious limit. Of course, in practice, uh, computer science never has, you know, undefined things. So we recommend basically up to about a 25 to 25 foot with tracking volume and the sort of guardian value you can drive basically to use that volume. From a product perspective, uh, Quest is designed for games. We've built lots of VR headsets at this point. Um, last year we released a device called Oculus Go, which is, you know, has games and other apps on it that was primarily designed about being like the best in VR media viewing experience you could possibly get. Uh, Quest is, Quest's design is, is about video games. It's about being a video game device. There'll be some other stuff on it as well, but we're going to think about it in a position and talk about it as a game device. Uh, we have a demo of Quest that you can try here at the show. It's in the Yerba Buena Center, which is um, sort of behind North Hall, kind of on the hill a little bit. Uh, there's also a smaller demo space in North Hall Lobby that has uh, a demo you can try there as well. I can tell you all about how cool our device is, but actually I'd rather you just go kind of put it on your head and try it yourself. Uh, if you have time this uh, this week, please go check it out. Okay, so Quest is going to ship this spring. It's three hundred ninety nine dollars, um, and we're going to be talking a lot more about it soon. This is the this is the end of my product pitch to you about how awesome this device is.